Hello everyone, this is Arvind here and as part of our Learn Moki sessions today we'll be discussing about how to create a promotion in Moki and also apply that promotion into the order. Earlier we had a session where we have discussed about available promotions in the Moki, uh, documentation, avail available documentation around that, uh, also gone through uh, some code uh, that actually supports the promotion, so the code walkthrough. So if you wanted to actually go through that, you will uh, find that video in this playlist as well. Uh, so to actually create a new promotion in Moki and to use it, uh, we'll be using demo Moki instance that I have already opened. So it's demo.moki.org. Uh, we'll be using it. So let's log in into the test using test credentials. Here, uh, all the applications are listed on here. Let's go into the pop commerce ERP. Uh, you will get a stores option available here. Let's go into the stores. Uh, here, all the stores are listed down. We just have a demo data available in uh, demo instance for the pop commerce default. So let's select this one. And in the selected store on the second tab, you can see the promotions. So that is our main focus here. So let's go through the promotions. These are few promotions that are actually created over here. What I have done is actually uh, put the true date in all of those to disable those so as to not create any confusion. We'll be creating a new promotion here and then using that. So let's go on to create a new promotion. So here on clicking on new store promotion, uh, this pop-up opens and it has option to select one of these. So as we have discussed earlier in my previous session, like we have three promotion support, three basic promotion support available in Moki. Uh, first one is buy X, get Y at Z percent discount. Second one is flat discount per quantity and third one is new customer discount. Uh, I'm creating a flat discount per quantity promotion over here, but as per your need, you can create any of these. So let's select flat discount per quantity. Uh, what is a flat discount? So let's put flat and discount per quantity. So here I'm creating a $10 discount uh, per quantity promotion. And in the form that I am putting the yesterday's that so as to uh, enable this promotion in active state. Let's create this one. The promotion has been created. Uh, if you go through the fields over here, on the left side, we can see the promotion contribution related to like sequence number of this promotion, from date to date, require code that I'll set to Y. Uh, limit per order per customer. So let's set 5 times over here. So it will limit uh, the code uses per customer to five and per, per order to five quantity. Uh, that let's update here. Uh, on the right hand side corner, these are the actually parameters of this uh, flat discount promotion. So it has discount amount, items with promo, and include non-consumer. So uh, those are very uh, well defined in the description field. So just let, but just let actually check the discount amount field description. So it says it's a required field, discount amount applied per quantity, set limits per order and or customer or promo code. If no limit specified, defaults to one. Uh, so for that, as it defaults to one, we have specified a limit of five. Uh, let's put the value 10 because we are creating a promotion for flat $10 discount per quantity. So update it. Earlier, we have selected require code to Y. So for applying this promotion, we need actually a promo code. So for that, let's go into the promo code, the adjacent tab over here, and create a promo code for this promotion. Here we can see like it is a newly created promotion and there are no promo codes available over So we need to create a new one. Uh, code, we can uh, put it anything like that, but for uh, reference, let's select 10 of per quantity. So I'm putting it select 10. Selecting yesterday is dead. 
yeah to create a promotion it will create a new promotion it's actually being opened over here uh from the this set and there are certain fields that you can uh, select as well you need but we don't need the details right now so we are now ready with creating a new promotion and uh, setting up a promo code i'll copy this promo code to be used later uh, now we need to go and create a new order and apply this promo code into that order so let's go to the orders where all the orders are listed down let's create a new sales order uh, for that we need to select a product store so all these details turn field then i have actually gone through and checked what all customers are here so here a uh, joe public uh, customer is available so let's create an order for that uh, our order is created but it doesn't have any items yet so let's add item to apply this promotion so here are all the listed down items uh, let's select on item quantity i'm using as two and let's add it so this item has been added the uh, effective price is 1699 and for two quantity it comes down to 3398 uh, now let's apply a promotion so for applying a promotion there is a section available over here uh, here you can actually add the promo code so i'll click on add promo code i have already copied that is black 10 and add this code on clicking on add you can see like submit successfully came over here that disappeared after some time uh, as per configuration uh, here in the items you can still see a second promotion item so this promotion item is actually uh, uh, the applied promo code or uh, based item so this is the discount uh, for the two quantity we had dollar 10 per quantity so for dollar 10 for two quantity we have 20 dollar uh, uh, promotion and the effective price is now coming down to 1398 uh, if we actually change the quantity, that will actually uh, invoke the recalculation of promotion. So let's try and do that. So I'm doing it as five quantity and updating the quantity. As we have updated this I line item uh, for five quantity, uh, the price was coming down to fifty four ninety five, and for all those five quantity, ten dollars per item quantity, the promotion is applied. So that comes down to fifty dollars. Now, uh, as we have set our limits to five per order and five per customer leases for this promotion, if I go and make it six and update this item, the promo item won't change because we have applied only a uh, customer can per order uh, use maximum five quantity for this promotion. So uh, for six items as well the promotion applied only on the quantity of five so this is how you can actually create a new promotion and use it uh, in your orders there are those three promotions available so uh, that are very handy so uh, that's it in this session and if you have any questions related to the promotion application or how to create promotions or some fields around that you can actually post those under this video and I'll definitely try and uh, get back to you. So uh, thank you for taking part in this session.